much. You're going to do great. From the very first day that we take back the White House from crooked Joe Biden, I believe we are going to have the four greatest years in the history of our country. Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after I, we win, we, we, it's about us. After we win the presidency, I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine settled. I get along with both of them very well. Would have, should have never happened. All those people dead, all those cities destroyed. You can never rebuild them, never rebuild them like they were. Beautiful thousand-year-old buildings with the gold domes. You can never rebuild that, but what a shame. And one thing I'll do that nobody else can say, they can have, not even talk. I know all the players. I will prevent a thing called World War III. And you are closer to it. You are closer to it than you have any idea. Biden's weakness has put us in grave danger. I will restore peace through strength. You know, again, uh, Russia didn't take any land while Trump was president, but they did take land under Bush. They did take land under Obama. Looks like they're taking the whole country from Biden, with all the money that we spend, we spend. You could have settled that deal over a couple of phone calls, frankly, and you wouldn't have anybody dead, and you'd have the country would be intact. It would be intact, but he couldn't do that. And the way he talked, I used to say, boy, it's, he's saying the exact opposite thing that you have to say to get that thing ended. What a horrible, horrible president he has been. In my next term, we will build a great iron dome over our country, a dome like has never seen before, a state-of-the-art missile defense shield that will be entirely built in America, and we will create, on top of everything else, jobs, jobs, jobs. And we need protection, too. We're going to build the greatest dome of them all. You see what happened in Israel. They shot 3,000 missiles, and they knocked down almost all of them. And we're entitled to that also, you know? And it was our idea, by the way. And Ronald Reagan wanted to do it many years ago, but unfortunately, then it sounded like Star Wars. He was ahead of his time, actually. But we didn't, we didn't have the technology that you have now. Now we have the greatest technology there is. And we're going to build a dome, a safety shield over the top of us so that, so that if we see something coming in five years from now, I'll be talking a little bit differently, maybe. We'll see something coming. I say, don't worry, the dome's going to take care of it. The dome, don't worry about it. The dome will take care of it. But we should have that. You know, we should be entitled to that, don't you think, with all the hostility out there? I think so. All made in the USA, including right here. To further secure America's future and create opportunity for young people, I will end Joe Biden's war on crypto. We will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in America. Otherwise, other countries are going to have it. The other countries are going to have it. We're going to rebuild our cities, become beacons of hope, safety, and beauty better than they have ever been before. Right now, they're death and squalor, and they're falling apart. We're going to rebuild our cities. We will take over the horribly run capital of our nation in Washington, D.C., and clean up, renovate, and rebuild our capital city so that it no longer is a nightmare of murder and crime. People go there from Wisconsin. I want to see the Washington Monument and they end up getting shot. They end up getting killed. It's a horrible thing taking place in the Capitol. We're going to take it over. It's going to be run properly. It's going to be beautified. It's going to be cleaned. I went there the other day for one of these trials, you know, these trials that keep me busy so much. You know, I'm only allowed to campaign about 20 percent of the time because I have all these Biden trials. But so far, it's not working. We can never let that work. We can't let them get away with it. But I went there. And the roads were so badly damaged. There were potholes all over the place. There was trash all over the main highways, trash, garbage. You're driving over garbage. The medians in the middle, you know, the metal medians were all broken and rusted and disgusting. That's no way to have a capital. Can you imagine these foreign leaders come in? And generally, their capitals are in good shape. You know, they're, that's why they're dictators. They say, that's, we, don't want, we don't want broken medians. We don't, medians. We don't want potholes in our roads. We want to have them nice. I went to China. You never saw anything like that. A road 10 on 10 cars wide times two. Medians that were impeccable. They're probably 100 years old. They were made out of steel. They were painted. They were impeccable. All this stuff. We got to have the same thing. We got to have it. We have to have it 
done properly. Our, our nation's capital is the murder capital of the world. Our nation's capital is falling apart. Graffiti all over the beautiful marbles and granites. Graffiti. Graffiti all over the place. We're going to clean up our capital. We're going to be proud of our capital. We're going to take care of our capital. On day one, I will sign a new executive order to cut federal funding of any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto the lives of our children. And I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask mandate. And I will keep — who even thinks you have to say this stuff, you know? Like, open borders. Who wants an open border? Nobody wants to know. Who has open borders? But who — some of these things, it's embarrassing to say. I will keep men out of women's sports. It's embarrassing. Why? Why would you have to say that? You know, you go back 10, 15 years ago, somebody would say, did he just say he was going to keep what, — what's that all about? The women are being — it's so disrespectful for women. The other day, a woman playing volleyball uh, got hit by a ball, hit by somebody who transitioned, a large person, very large. And the ball came at her at a level that no — at a speed that which she's never seen before. It hit her, and it had bad, bad impact. Bad things happened. Bad things. And that's happened before. The swimming is ridiculous. The weightlifting is probably the most ridiculous. Weightlifting records that stood for 18 years of being obliterated by, by hundreds of pounds, by people that transitioned. I don't think it's uh, — we're going to get rid of that immediately. I will fully uphold the Second Amendment. We will protect innocent life, and we will restore free speech. And I will secure our elections with a goal to have one-day voting, paper ballots, proof of citizenship, and voter ID. But until then, Republicans must win. We want a landslide, and the expression I use, where you just can't lose, is we got to make it too big to rig. Too big to rig, because they're dishonest people. If you took the 10 worst presidents in the history of the United States and added them up, they would not have done near the destruction to our country as Joe Biden and the Biden administration of thugs has done. What they've done to our country is incredible. What they've done — and you haven't even seen it yet. You haven't seen the terrorists yet. You haven't seen the killing yet that's starting to take place. Again, it takes them a little time. They want to get accustomed to the country. They're not going to start from day one because they don't know. Then they see our laws, which are so weakened and so pathetic, and they probably can't believe them. But uh, you're going to see things that will be horrible unless you elect me president, in which case we're going to get them the hell out of here. We're going to get them out fast. So if you want to save America, I'm asking everybody to go out to the website, swampthevoteusa.com. Swamp the vote, right? The swamp. This is a different kind of swamp than we usually use. Swamp. We got rid of a lot of the swamp. Comey and all those guys, we got rid of them. Swampthevoteusa.com to make a plan to vote either by mail early in person or to vote on Election Day, you have to vote. And watch your vote. Watch your vote. Because they tend to disappear. Watch your vote. Make sure it's counted. And you can do that. Make sure it's counted. You have great people. Again, Tommy is going to be totally involved. And you're, you have two great governors that are going to be involved. And we appreciate it very much. Two great governors. We got to win it. We win it. We win the whole thing. Then we see you guys in Washington. We'll see you in Washington. And if you want to volunteer to help us turn out the voters in your neighborhood, sign up and get trained at TrumpForce47.com. TrumpForce47.com. Go out, because we want to watch it. You want to watch for the cheating. I say guard the vote. I say guarding the vote is far more important. We have all the votes we need. We have to guard the vote. We have to stop the steal. If we stop the steal, we win. I don't have to campaign anymore. Just stop the steal. So, Scott and Tommy, do a job out there, okay? You'll do it. In conclusion, from Madison to Milwaukee, from La Crosse to Kenosha — I love Kenosha — and from Green Bay to right here in Racine, 
We inherit the legacy of Wisconsin patriots who braved the incredible dangers to carve out a life in a vast and wild frontier. We stand on the shoulders of the American giants who crossed the oceans, explored the continent, settled the Great Plains, won the Wild West, laid down the railroads, raised up those great, big, beautiful skyscrapers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Conquered the skies, fought two world wars, and won. And we didn't have to change the name of the forts, by the way. Does anybody know what I mean by that? Fort Bragg is no longer Fort Bragg. We won two world wars. So many of the forts are changed. The names of the forts have changed. We won, we won freedom from those forts, and they changed the name. So horrible. Defeated fascism and communism, mastered space flight, created Space Force. That was mine, the first time in 78 years. And made America into the single greatest nation in the history of the world. But now we are a nation in serious decline. We are a failing nation. We are a nation that has lost its confidence, lost its willpower, and lost its strength. We are a nation that has lost, quite simply, its way. But we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Less than four years ago, we were a great nation. We were a respected nation, respected all over the world by China, by Russia, by everybody. And we will soon be a great nation again. With the right leadership, every disaster Joe Biden has created can be fixed, and it can be fixed quickly. Every problem can be solved, and every wrong can be rectified. By this time next year, America's borders will be strong and sealed and secure. Inflation will be in full retreat. Our economy will be roaring back. Optimism and spirit will be surging. The American dream will be thriving again for citizens of every race, religion, color, and creed. Law and justice will reign all throughout our land. Freedom will be restored. The flame of liberty will be burning bright. Joe Bright, this guy is just the worst. Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country, will be a fading nightmare. He'll be a fading — I have fading memory, but I think — do you mind if I change it? He will be a fading nightmare. He's been a nightmare for this country. He's destroying — he is destroying our country. He's the worst we've ever had. He's destroying our country. And our great silent majority, including the once-forgotten men and women of our country, will be the one shaping America's magnificent future when I am the 47th President of the United States of America. Because we are all Americans, and together we will show November 5th to be the most important day in the history of America. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. And together we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. We will make America free again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, with Thank you, Wisconsin. Thank you. God bless you, Wisconsin. God bless you, Wisconsin. Thank you. Get out and vote. Get out and vote, everybody. God bless you all.